I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but first, I think I, it's going to be an interesting night. Hey everyone, welcome back to Light Inside Cinema, where we dive deep into the craft of filmmaking and help you sharpen your skills. Today's video was actually requested by one of you guys, and I'm actually excited to talk about this topic. What is it? Cinematography. That's right, we're going to be talking about the basics of cinematography today. So let's strap in your seatbelts, let's get going, because whether you're just starting out or looking to brush up on the essentials, by the end of this video, you'll walk away with the practical knowledge that you could apply on set immediately. First, let's talk about different shot types and what they can communicate, you know, emotionally about a character or even a scene. This shot often sets the stage showcasing the environment and context. Think of it like the big picture, right? It's often used to establish a location and it can create a feeling of distance between the character and the world around them. It's an establisher shot, right? We all need them. This can be a bit more versatile. On one hand, you still capture the environment, but now the focus is more on a character or a detail of the character, right? Depending on the context, a wide shot can convey power or it can also convey isolation, especially when the character is small in the frame, you know, and surrounded by emptiness. It can make the audience think that the character is lonely or disconnected from their surrounding. This is where we start getting a little bit more intimate. You're often framing the subject from the waist up. It's perfect for dialogue scenes and it it's great for connecting with the character. This brings us even closer, and it's usually framing the character from the chest up. It creates more intensity and a little bit more focus on the character's expressions and emotions. Now, we're fully focused on the face and the emotions, the subtle facial expressions, you know, all come through making the audience feel what the character is feeling. This shot magnifies a very specific detail, like the eyes or hands or feet. It can feel intense, even unsettling at times, and it is usually uh, used to convey something critical or to build suspense in the scene. Every shot will tell a part of the story, and it's not just about what you see, right? It's about what you feel, what you hear. That's why understanding shot types is so important in cinematography. With all the shot types, let's move on to the next part of cinematography, and that's composition and framing. The way you frame your subject within the shot can completely change the meaning of the scene. I mean, one of the most common techniques is what? The rules of thirds. I want you guys to imagine dividing uh, your frame into a grid with two verticals and two horizontals. Think of it like a tic-tac-toe board, right? And you're gonna place your subject on one of these lines, especially at the intersection of lines, right? This will create a balanced and visually interesting composition. Two shots is exactly what it sounds like. Two characters in one frame. It's great for conversations or scenes with equal focus on both subjects. You know, you might even have three shots. A tracking shot, you know, moving forward or backwards is all about following the action. And it creates a sense of immersion, pulling the audience in or pulling the audience out. Tracking forward usually feels like you're diving into the character's world, while tracking backwards can reveal more of the environment or give us space to reflect or pull us out of the, the scene entirely. Before we wrap up, I wanted to share something important. If you guys don't know already, Hurricane Milton, it's getting pretty powerful and we're in the path of the storm. With that being said, uh, we may not be able to post our video on Friday. And it may be a few weeks before we actually get to another video, depending on the damage, because right after the hurricane, we're going to be going out and doing disaster relief, you know, giving out food, giving out supplies to people that need it. So, you know, my, my church is absolutely incredible. Uh, it's with the Freedom Tour. And if you guys are in need of food or supplies, you know, don't worry. The Freedom Tour, you know, we're constantly, constantly bringing in tons and tons of semi-trucks. 
we're going to be doing a lot of outreaches here in the next few weeks you know depending on the damage and everything like that the freedom tour will be there and we will be there for you guys storms itself they <laughs> one thing my pastor said to me on sunday which really got to me and actually i i think about it now is that everything has a name has to bow to the name of jesus but jesus went through a storm at the bottom of the boat and slept so we're going to sleep through this thing i'm just putting my faith out there to you guys and want to encourage you guys for a second because i'll let you guys know right now that we have the power and the authority to call this storm back to sea right so the one thing i want to say is today i want everyone together to you know claim that this storm will not hit us it will go back out to sea you know it's going to be all hands on deck after this storm hits or if it doesn't hit regardless we're going to be in your area we're going to go out and we're going to help you guys you know we're going to have trucks going in and out just sunday we closed our church early because we had six semi trucks come in and trust me if you saw the freedom tour right now whew, we got a little 10,000 square foot building and we had to clear out the, the sanctuary with the chairs because literally there's no more room to put anything else so we are ready more than ready we got water we got mres we got oh dry goods all kinds of stuff um and you know we're ready to go out and be the church <laughs> because let's just face it a real church is not what you find inside the doors. It's what you find outside the doors. It's about spreading love to you guys. I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but... Hmm. I think I... Uh, it's going to be an interesting night. We're going to... We're going to walk this out together. And we're going to be here for you. No matter what happens. Anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that subscribe button, press that like button, and click that bell notification icon for further videos on filmmaking and uh, DaVinci Resolve tutorials that we're gonna post on Fridays. Uh, we will see you when we see you. I would say I would see you on Friday, but it is uncertain at this time, okay? So we will see you when we see you. We'll keep you updated, you know, be on the lookout through the community tab because I know that I can find a way to get on mobile at least and, you know, send out a quick update on how we're doing and what we're doing and where the outreaches are going to be. All right. Until then, practice and create.